Hi, I'm Mark Powers from This Old House magazine. Even if you've never worked with stencils before, painting a border around a doorway is an easy project that any novice can tackle. You can paint it using pre-cut stencils, but designing your own stencils will give you a more custom look, just as we did here. We also opted for an aged, old world look by dabbing on just enough paint to let the wall color underneath show through. Start by measuring your doorway. Mark the center line on the casing above the door with a pencil. You'll use this mark later to position your first stencil. Next, sketch your pattern freehand or print one using a computer. Tape the sketches around the doorway, leaving a consistent space between the edge of the casing and your stencil design. Lightly mark the ends of the border on the wall with a pencil. Now, trace the pattern onto stencil film. Our border used four stencils, a top detail, a corner detail, a tail detail, and a linear pattern to fill the space in between. Lay a piece of film over the top detail so that one edge aligns with the edge of the pattern that's closest to the door casing. Cut the film to size, leaving a space of at least one inch all around to keep the stencil intact. Tape the film to your pattern to prevent shifting and trace the pattern onto the film with a fine tip permanent marker. Mark a center line on the bottom edge of the top stencil. Trace the other stencils in the same manner. Next, you'll cut out the stencils. To cut straight lines, place the film on the cutting mat and make cuts with an X-Acto knife guided by a straight edge. To cut curved lines, place the film on top of a pane of glass to protect your work surface and use an electric stencil cutting pen to trace the curves. Work in small sections and lift the pen from the film frequently to keep your cuts crisp. My tip is to come from the inside and work your way towards the outside of the line. Now you're ready to mount the top stencil. Lay it face down on a work surface and spray the back with mounting adhesive. Let it dry for several minutes until it feels tacky. Line up the center lines on the stencil and the door casing and press the stencil into place. Smooth it with a plastic putty knife to remove any air bubbles. You're finally ready to paint. Dip a flat tip stencil brush into the paint and dab the ends of the bristles on a lint-free cloth or a paper towel, leaving the brush nearly dry. Using a dabbing motion and a light touch, stipple paint onto the open areas of the stencil. Don't add paint at the very end of the stencil where your pattern continues to avoid creating a visible overpainted seam. Keep painting until the pattern is filled in but the wall color underneath still shows through. When you're done, pull up one corner of the stencil and carefully peel it away from the wall. Keep painting the border, working your way outward from the top detail. Make sure the paint is dried on the adjacent project area before mounting each stencil and be careful not to overpaint the areas that overlap where the pattern continues. Between uses, Rinse stencils in hot water and dry with a lint-free cloth or paper towel. Flip over the corner stencil to paint the symmetrical pattern at the doorway's corners. Finish by mounting the tail stencil on one side of the doorway, painting the pattern, then rinsing it and flipping it over to finish the other side. Let all paint dry completely. You'll love how your new doorway border adds a touch of charm to the room.